Artificial intelligence and productivity, do you think it'll be a factor? Probably yes. A lot of people have noticed uh, the dramatic change in the last couple of years with technologies being used more recently. To do is to have um, been experimenting with something called to task creator and many other applications are using tools that help to write out an article for you. So how will this play into the whole productivity realm and software space? We're going to be talking about that in today's video. Before we begin, we're using Miro as our whiteboard collaboration tool. If you fancy checking that out, it'll be in the link in the description below. Um, but everything on screen is from Miro. So, um, the world of AI is quite an interesting one. Um, I think what we typically see at the moment now is baby AI. It's not really um, artificial intelligence that's really on a larger scale fixing all of the different flow problems in your day. At the moment, there may be two or three times you're using it and even using it that you don't know you're using it in smaller applications. But it's going to become a pretty predominant part of our lifestyles in the future. So at the moment, um, there are some technologies um, like, as I mentioned, Todoist are integrating this new um, artificial intelligence engine that helps you to use machine learning to allocate tasks that are based on a topic. So for example, if you put become a dictator, it might give you five or six steps to becoming a dictator, but created from machine learning. And we've seen this with DALI 2, which is an image creation tool, which has been doing the same thing. I think there's gonna be quite a big revolution in this in, in the net last couple of years. I think if we snap five years ago, we probably weren't even in a state where tools we're using any of this and that was probably quite time consuming and quite naturally um, very manualized in the productivity sense whereas now we're starting to get small elements of our productivity software and apps using artificial intelligence and machine learning more recently microsoft teams in their premium announced a feature that will transcribe your experience but also pick out tasks that they think are relevant, ready for you to assign after the meeting, which would really dramatically reduce the uh, amount of time you're spending in a meeting. And we're also seeing a lot more technologies that are fixing smaller problems in the productivity space. And that's where I think we are now. Productivity is in this snapshot of time where we're testing new technologies, sort of getting comfortable with smaller things being done for us. And that's just how it's going to start. There's gonna be probably about 20% of our time will be taken away from us or you know, given back to us by using these smaller technologies, whether they're in social media applications, whether they're in um, sort of uh, writing applications, um, general project management applications, task notes, smaller abilities in them that will replicate things that you already do and you manualize. And this can be as simple as say, a note being pre-organized and pre-allocated to a folder versus you actually having to go in and do it every single time and it can sort of learn from you in the background. And that's what I mean. These sort of things will build up and it will sort of solve 20% of your time initially. And that's where I think we'll start to head towards a lot more being done by these machine learning artificial intelligence um, in sort of like I'd say five to six years time, we'll probably see a big leap where they're doing 40 to 50% of a tool's job um, in actually helping you to do it. And I think by 10 years time, the people who will be using a productivity tool in a manualized sense will be looked at in the same way that people use journals at the moment. Um, obviously, there's nothing wrong with using journals. It's a big, big market. It's a fantastic audience of people that use it. But it's that manualization concept that we sometimes don't understand. Um, we look at software and we go, it's doing much more abilities. It's on our, on our phones or as we go. And we look at those who may use journals and think they're doing it in a very archaic fashion. But we're gonna look at the same way with those who don't use machine learning or AI productivity tools, looking at those who use their phones to update their Evernotes or their Todoists on certain things. And we'll look at them in the same way as that. I think, 
largely in a five to six year scale, that 40% of jobs will be likely organization of your day. So you walk into your day and you don't have to pre-plan it, pre-organize it. Literally just see everything that's there. It's automatically prioritized, populated, and it is communicating with the other applications that are in your realm. So communicating with your team's project management application, um, your wife's note taker, um, all of these different factors to amalgamate a really perfect day based on your energy levels, priority, and things like that. And also taking into factors like your health and how well you slept that night, um, you know, how physically fit you feel that day, how much sort of brain fog you do, not, do or don't have. Um, but it will bring in all these factors and sort of have that on the table for you. And I think that's probably in the long term where productivity is heading. Um, that's a sort of five year, six year window. I think by 10 years, we'll probably likely not touch much stuff. It'll be much more like Iron Man, where Iron Man's pointing and telling, um, uh, I can't remember the, uh, the actual uh, Jarvis, telling Jarvis what to do versus the other way around. And there would be just smaller things that would be done automatically. You would never go back to doing certain smaller activities in the background. So I think it's really, really interesting to see AI productivity tools really expand. I know I'm talking about it very long term, but I think sometimes it's a sort of mindset shift as well with productivity, especially because um, I always say that the productivity tools that are the best are the ones that get out of way of your work or like allows you to just get on with deep work, deep focus. And I think that's where artificial intelligence will continue to um, strive. The ones that get out the way of the actual work part, I think will go into the future being very popular. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out Miro, uh, which we use to demonstrate uh, these different topics, you can find it in the link in the description. Thank you very much, folks, and I look forward to seeing some of your comments in the description, in the comments below. Cheerio.